Shinya practice. Uh, there's a base on the mountain, base on the landscape, to the towards to a long distance, towards the short distance, looking into a different angle of a little bit above, a little bit more straight, and a little bit more uh, down, and based on the different difficulties of uh, distraction that we are facing and applying according to that. And also with the Hakton practice, you know, having a sense of clarity through your intellectual knowledge, you know, through your investigation, you know, that is needed. So, like I said yesterday, these two practices should not separate very far away from each other, you know. Like if you want to do a retreat with the Shine practice, you should do one session of the Shine and then one session of the Hakton, you know, so that you are keeping it alive.